Exactly 40 years ago, Volkswagen first reintroduced this warm and humid wind from the southeast, the Sirocco. The Sirocco concept is a sports car for everyone. Not that expensive and still very sporty already. And so there was a long break between the old model and the new one. This one was introduced in 2008 and now in 2014 we got the facelift, including the new Sirocco R. The Sirocco is among the least selling Volkswagen models. For example, here in Germany they sell 200 per month. For such a big brand that's not much. Only the Phaeton and the Jetta here in Germany is even sell less here. So, but with this facelift and especially a new R version, Volkswagen says, we still want to be cool, we still want to build this car, we want to hang on with it. And I think that's quite good because this is one of the most emotional Volkswagen cars and we are going to explain to you why. R logo here, especially in the R version. And the headlights have been modified, both for the R and the not R version. And here we got special design features here in shining black as well, and a new front grille. The sideline has not been changed, and why should they? This is really a coupe. We had a discussion uh, at the CLS video lately, uh, because it's two door here, obviously, and really got this coupe form. And I think that is the main feature of what makes the Shiroko that beautiful. And finally, the rear lamps have been slightly modified. They got a sharper form now, so it looks more dynamic. And by the way, have you seen this here? These small design features, they kind of look like an Apple Magic Mouse, don't you think of? More new features await us in the interior. The interior has been updated. It's more classy than the old one. We got a new steering wheel, especially here in the R version, the R steering wheel, which is very beautiful. We got the flattened end, also contrast stitches in white at the inside of the steering wheel. In general, I think the steering wheel could be a bit smaller. It's quite huge for such a sporty car. The instruments look very beautiful, especially because here in the R version, we got blue arrows and, which is the best feature, the best new feature, are these three new instruments. They're kind of some kind of homage on the old Sirocco. We got motor oil temperature here, turbocharged pressure and as well as a lap timer. These here are the standard sports seats. They got textile on the center and Alcantara on the sides. Although this is a quite low and sporty car, it is very comfortable also thanks to the seats. There are also sports leather seats, even more sporty leather seats available. They cost extra and they got this kind of classy sports car style at the sides with the gaps here as well. If you want to get in the back of the car, to pull this one here, it's quite practical because it slides forward. Here at the sides you see we got also possibility for your jackets, that's quite practical, especially when you're driving alone or with two persons. And now I'm trying the back seat. Whoa. You really have to be sporty for that at least. Okay. It is not a car for four persons, to be clear, yes. But we got two single seats here in the back, that's quite exciting. They look pretty cool, at least. Well, I actually got enough room for my legs, for my knees, that's pretty much okay. But you see, the limit is the headroom. But due to the two single seats, when you're not that tall, let's say maybe 
170 or something in meters. Then it's also quite okay for the headspace. I'm almost to 190 now and I already get problems. As for the trunk, it's still a nice feature that just as in the Golf, you turn the logo and then you get a relatively high loading sill, so it's not that easy to put things in there. But if you come closer, then it's quite steep and you got still enough space, for example, for, uh, for your beer cans or something like that. It is a bit limited, but I think for such a compact car, it's still okay. You can really combine sporty car driving here and still go on holiday, for example. driving now. You heard the sound. It sounds quite cool but it's not too bad for example when you are inside the city so you don't arouse too much attention with it. It's more like being something like an understatement you know and I like the illuminated blue arrows here I've shown you already in the instruments and now I can control the nice sporty steering wheel and I got a lot of power. It's a 2 liter turbo petrol engine here with 280 horsepower. That's 15 horsepower more than in the previous R version. And this gives you always torque just when you need it. We've never lacked power here. We're driving the manual uh, shifting version here. And as usual for Volkswagen, the whole shifting process is very, very smooth. There is also a DSG available here, the dual clutch transmission. I would really recommend it. Some people say, okay, such a sporty, pure car should be manual shifted. What's your opinion on that? I think the DSG is just awesome, so you should go for it. So, and now we can try how it sounds here from the inside when I shift downwards. Third gear now. What do you think? It's nice, isn't it? Still, it, you got a comfortable ride, I must say. It feels, let me say, a little bit like in a Golf, but lower. And you got this sporty atmosphere because you got a limited vision from the upper end, so you feel like you are in a sporty car. And, well, of course, when you turn this car sideways, you get more response than in the Golf. So the R version is really a lot of fun and still you feel like you're in a normal car. You don't have this feeling like uh, you can't really use it in everyday life. For example, like when you're driving a McLaren or something like that. So this is kind of a very good compromise between both purposes. If you don't want to have the R version, don't want to spend so much money, there's also the new 2-liter TDI, the turbo diesel. And this one is very fuel saving. It's supposed to only have 4.2 liters consumption and 100 kilometers. And this 2 liter TDI still has a lot of torque, so you should still get along with that. However, we are in the R version. About the consumption here in the Sirocco R, we are really pushing the throttle for you, that you also have fun at your video screens. And so we got a consumption of 12 liters, but that's really we're pushing the throttle. When you're on the motorway and um, driving slowly, maybe in the city and also in the countryside, you can get it below 10 liters. I've tested it as well and I reached something about 9 liters. So it's really up to you how much consumption you have here.
So let me sum up the driving for you. You want this car if you want that classic Volkswagen quality. It's very well done interior, nothing to moan about. What can you say? It's all always done perfect. And still, you want a little bit more, a little bit more than a classic Golf. For example, like the vision perspective you have, of course, the engine with Sirocco R, the nice seats with the contrast colors. So it gives you this special feeling of driving something more than just the ordinary. And I think this combination of basic good quality from Volkswagen and a bit of something special. That's a very good combination and therefore I also like this car because I also like sporty driving but I don't like if I need a spine surgery afterwards and you don't need it here because it is still comfortable. So I had a lot of fun with this new Volkswagen Sirocco and if you also had some fun with us Please click on thumbs up and also on subscribe and also leave some comments. What do you think about this car? We're just in the middle of the action, you know. So, and what else is there to say about this car at the end of the video? Well, I think it is lacking an all-wheel drive because 280 horsepower just by the front wheels, it is electronically controlled, yes, but still with such power you usually need either rear drive or the all-wheel drive, like it is available in the Golf R. But I talked to Volkswagen and they say they really want to keep this as a front-wheel drive, also to let it distinguish to the Golf R. So, maybe this car is for you if you want to go for a GTI three-door, because you don't really need it. This one is the more sporty car. If you more like a GTI five-door, you really got an advantage because you can't really fit people in the backside here. So it really depends on with how many people you drive. And this one is the most emotional Volkswagen at the moment, I think. And exactly by this reason, they want to hold on to the car and I'm very glad for it because it adds more to the image of the brand. And not only this volume manufacturer, but also someone who can build emotional cars. And that's the case here with Sirocco R. And I hope to see you next time with the next Autogrill episode.